Hi there, I'm glad to have you here on my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to fracture a solid hard geometry model into rectangular pieces and utilize the power of the remesher tool in Cinema 4D to create nearly perfect topology for them. As the final outcome, we'll transform these chunks of geometry into the amazing organic animation you see now. Let's jump right in. My starting scene contains basic hard geometry and a few cameras for easier navigation in the viewport. To begin, let's break the geometry into the grid-like blocks. To do this, parent the hard geometry to a Voronoi fracture object. Next, go to the Sources tab of the Voronoi fracture and remove the point generator from the Sources field. Add a matrix object to the scene and adjust its settings to your liking. Then drag and drop it into the Sources field of the Voronoi fracture. As a result, Cinema 4D has created parametric hard geometry division based on the matrix separation source input. To convert it into editable geometry pieces, right mouse click on the Voronoi fracture and choose current state to object. Now put the matrix and Voronoi fracture objects inside the master null object to keep them there in case any adjustments need to be made in the future. Hide the master null. As you may have noticed, each generated geometry piece contains several useful tags. Feel free to explore them. To achieve the main objectives of this tutorial, we will only use the first edge selection tag. Therefore, you can go ahead and remove some of these tags to free up space for easier interaction. The overall quality of the topology of the generated hard geometry pieces is bad. From now on, for a more insightful visualization, let's focus on just one geometry piece. As you can see, it contains and guns and lacks proper topology flow. To see why this could be an issue, if you apply the bevel deformer to this geometry, you will get a low quality beveled hard edge with many artifacts. Let's fix this using the remesher tool. Apply the remesher tool to the geometry. By default, the remesher tool works well, but in our case, the hard edges of the geometry were not properly detected. We can try changing the detect hard edges setting to shading mode or none, but the outcome will remain bad. To fix this, double click on the edge selection tag. As you can see, not all the hard edges of our geometry were generated and stored in the tag. By holding the shift key, add the missing hard edges to the selection and store everything into a new edge selection tag. By going to the select menu and choosing the store selection option. Remove the old edge selection tag, set the remesh detect hard edges field to none. Then drag and drop the newly created edge selection tag into the hard edge selection field of the remesher. The quality of the newly remeshed topology looks great now. In some cases, the geometry you are working with may require specific topology flow. To guide the remesher algorithm on how the topology should be distributed, you will need to use splines. Switch to points mode and select the sketch tool. Ensure that the snap tool is activated and polygon option is checked. Draw the spline guides above your shape to define the desired polygon flow for the remesher algorithm to follow. Note that splines with multiple segments can also be used. When you are finished, drag and drop the splines into the flow splines field of the remesher object. The resulting edge flow of the remeshed object may not always work perfectly, but it will be as precise as the remesher algorithm allows. Roll back all the changes we made to the geometry by using the flow splines feature of the remesher. Make sure the remesher object is selected, then proceed to make it editable. To make the topology more evenly distributed, switch to edge mode. Using the loop selection tool, select the edge loops of the geometry you want to evenly distribute. Right mouse click and choose equal spacing. Left mouse click and while holding the mouse button, drag to the right side inside the viewport until the selected loops become evenly distributed. Repeat the process for all the edge loops you want to distribute evenly. Apply a bevel deformer to the geometry and as a result you will get a perfectly beveled hard edge. Apply the same algorithm to all the hard geometry pieces. When finished, all the geometry chunks will have clean bevels and well-organized topology. To push it even further, let's animate it. Make sure the pivot point of each geometry piece is located at its geometric center. Place all the geometry pieces inside the fracture object. Apply the plane MoGraph effector to the fracture. Set its highlighted fields as demonstrated. Switch to the fields tab and add a random field. Adjust the highlight highlighted fields as shown. Click the play button to be amazed by the result. All the best and see you in the next tutorial.